Guys, welcome to another video. You've got Mr. Everything English and today we begin the year. Everything Education. Tuition for Maths, English and Science. Today is the day that we begin the content for this year's series. Now, every year, before I start making my Macbeth and my English language and my Inspector Calls and my Jekyll and Hyde and all that content, before all that, I begin with a video telling my year 11s, telling you guys how to approach this year. Because all of that stuff will be useless if this is not working correctly. Now, the year can feel very long. You can, it can feel as though GCSEs are ages away. But the problem is, right, it seems far away and it is far away. But in a strange way, it comes so quick. And if you're not prepared, it's going to come so quick that you won't even expect it. And it's going to smack you for a six by the time you get to May and June. We have to prepare accordingly. And the first thing we have to do, guys, is we have to get this thing up here correct. We have to get our mind right. You need to understand that you almost need to forget about who you've been for year seven, for year eight, for year nine, for year 10. You could have been a grade nine student for four years. This year, you could lose it all. Or you could have been a bum for the past four years. This year, you can win it all. Everything comes down to what you do over the next 10 months. Trust me, guys, I mean that. Go look at the video about GCSE exam results. Go read about the kids that went from a grade one to a grade six, a grade three to a grade nine. That's you. This time next year, that is going to be you. You just need to make sure you get your mind right. Now, what does that mean? Let's start putting things in place. First thing I need you guys to do is put together a plan of action. Don't start revising six hours a day, 10 hours a day right now. It's too much. But you want to have it in your mind. Okay, September, October, this is how I'm going to revise. Create a timetable, this many hours, and stick to it. Hold yourself accountable. Don't do fake stuff. Don't make fake timetables. Don't waste your parents' money. Don't buy stuff that you're not going to use just because you want to look as though you're working. Really hold yourself accountable. So put together a timetable. Every day or every other day, I'm going to revise for two hours. It's all right. That's not bad. That's my target for September and October. Then November, December, I'm going to increase it like this. And for now, that's enough. Plan your year until the end of December. Second thing though, how are you going to revise? My lovely year 11s, I actually care about you guys. So my advice is genuinely what I do with my students. First things first, I have a rule that you cover all of the content by the end of year 10, meaning you read your books and you, your English language exam, you cover the content. But I understand that sometimes this is not possible. And to most of you guys, increasingly a lot of the time, more and more because of supply teachers, because of other issues in education, a lot of schools are not covering all of the content or they're telling you guys to go home and cover the content, or they're skimming the content. They'll read one poem, skip three poems, read act one of Macbeth, skip act two of Macbeth. You can't do that. You cannot do that. And if anyone says to you that you can get by without reading the books, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. Why do I say that? If you look at those students who get a grade nine, who get a grade eight, what separates them from the five, six, seven? It's the depth and the detail that they can talk about the quotes, talk about the effect, talk about the text. And what does that depend upon? That depends upon how well you know the book. Not a summary from Google, but how well you know the text itself. So are you going to be that kid who says that unsex me here in Macbeth shows that Lady Macbeth wants to be a man because some rubbish summary online told you this? Or are you going to discuss 
how she wants to abandon her feminine qualities, qualities, replace them with masculine qualities, all in pursuit of power and so on and so on. Because you understand that after she says unsex me here, she then says take my milk for gold and so on and so on and so on. What's my point? Learn your books and you have until December to do this. By hook or by crook, you have to have covered all of the GCSE content by Christmas. And if your school is lagging, if your school is not on this, if you're struggling with teachers, you need to do this by yourself. So what does that mean? When it comes to English literature, you must make sure you've read your books. You take ownership. Make sure you've read your poems. Videos like myself, content like mine, like mine's, will help you analyze it. And that's coming out starting from next week. But you must read the books. I'm not going to sit here and read them with you. You need to sit there and take ownership. Learn your content. Make your notes. Every single book you read has, must have four sheets of notes. Top 10 quotes, key characters, key events and context. Those are your four pages of notes for every book you read. You don't need to have a thousand notes. You just need to have four pages. Key quotes, key characters, key events and then your context. So you read the text, you make your notes. You read the text, you make your notes. And then it's your notes that help you eventually do the exam practice. But first, by Christmas, your focus is to get your English literature content out of the way. Now, when it comes to English language, boy oh boy, please, we must stop the fake learning. How can you be in year 11 and not know what a simile is? How can you be in year 11 and not know what a metaphor is? You're taught that in year five. What have you been doing for seven years that you still don't know? And God forbid, some of us still don't know what a noun or an adjective is. So what do you have to do by Christmas? You need to get that stuff locked off. You need to get that learned inside out because you cannot access the English language GCSE if you don't know any language or any structural devices. But know them properly. Don't do fake learning. Don't nod your head in lessons saying, yep, I know what a simile is, I know what a metaphor is. And the moment you're in an exam, you're sweating, you're buffering, you don't know what to do. Guys, language devices and structural devices is like one plus one in maths. It's your basics. It's inexcusable that a year 11 student can get to year, Christmas in year 11 and still not know this stuff. So many year 11s say to me, Sir, I struggle in the English language exam. And I ask them, what do you struggle with? Sir, I struggle with the effect. The moment they say that to me, I know the issue is never in the effect. The issue is in what they pick. And why is there an issue in what they pick? Because they don't know enough to have a range, to have a buffet of choices. So because they don't know lots of language devices, because they don't know lots of structural devices, they're limited in the quotes they can use. So they end up picking rubbish quotes that even I can't explain the effect of. So before you worry about the effect, by Christmas, please learn your language and structural devices inside out. Second thing for English language, you need to know how to write a paragraph. Now I'll make a video about that soon. And this might sound weird, but so many year 11s for English just don't know how to write a single paragraph. That makes sense. Guys, learn to do that. Do check out my videos about pretzel paragraphs. I will make videos about that, but your target is by Christmas, learn how to write a paragraph. And your last target guys for English language is paper one, question five. I teach and have always taught my students to pre-plan the question five, but you can only pre-plan a question five by initially having a question five. Write a question five, learn it off by heart. So my target for you is by Christmas, sit down over the next three months, write up a question five. Leave scope for this question five to be changed. Normally I leave the ending open to manipulation. This is what I change based upon the question. Now this question five that you prep, use it in your mock exams, use it in your assessments. So by the time you get to Christmas, 
you have an idea of what grade your question five is, then you have January, February, March, and April to improve this question five. You use it again and again and again. So by the time you get to May, you are walking into your exam with a grade nine question five. And that is what I need you guys to do between now and Christmas. Now, finally, year 11th. Guys, this year, you are not on your own. And don't think of it as though you are. You are going to need help. You are going to need support. You need to create an environment around you where you're able to do this. You've got me, that guy that sits on YouTube. If you ever need help, the best place to message me is in my Instagram DMs, not on TikTok, because that's a cesspit. But other than me, you've got two other main places to ask for help. Your school, your teachers. If you foresee that there's some problems, that you're struggling with something, raise it now and put a plan in place. Speak to your teachers. Don't constantly um, disturb them because teachers are busy people. But maybe book a 15 minute slot and get everything you need from that teacher and then go off and do it. Now, when it comes to your parents, guys, parents can be a tricky one. Sometimes it can be a tricky one. It depends on the relationship you have with your parents. If you don't have a relationship with your parents, try to mend that relationship. It's a relationship that you can never lose. It will always be there. No matter what you think of your parents, guys, they are your parents. So for example, if you need your parents to support you with anything, if you need your parents to hold you accountable, mom, dad, this is what I'm gonna do. Monday, seven o'clock, Thursday, seven o'clock. If you see me slacking, just remind me, just nudge me. Use your parents to help you get stuff. Now, I don't mean go to the bank and just spend all their money on rubbish. But if you really think you need a resource that you haven't got, or you need a lesson or, or whatever you need, use your parents. If you need someone to talk to, there'll be times where the stress will might get to you. The exam pressure might get to you. There may be times you feel anxious. You've got your parents, you've got your teachers. Maybe you come to me, I don't know. But create these support networks early. Last point, guys. Don't brain rot on social media. These things that we have, even for me, are terrible, terrible, terrible distractions. Terrible distractions. I can find myself sitting on them for hours doing nothing. If you see a problem in your life, eliminate it. If you think that your usage of this phone is too much or it makes you unproductive, then you must actively put plans in place to get rid of it because otherwise, trust me, it will waste your time. It will genuinely waste your time and time being wasted will ultimately impact your grades. And guys, that is my, honestly, my advice for you guys between now and Christmas. Take all of the advice, take some of the advice, use it as inspiration to do other stuff but start putting small steps together. Start putting small plans together. Figure out what works for you. For example, guys, I, as who I am, have to always write down what I'm going to do. So for example, I'll write down, okay, make a video about this on Thursday, one o'clock. Go do this on Friday. I, I, I've, I need to write it down. If I don't write it down, it won't get done. Maybe start doing that, maybe get a book. And I'm not saying start journaling, I'm just saying maybe write down your targets. Maybe create a document that you share with your parents that you have all your targets there and together you can work through it. But guys, this year you are not on your own. This year is an uphill climb, but we are ready for the challenge. We've done this many, many times. I've done this with many, many year 11s. I'm just trying to get you guys in the right mindset because otherwise all the content I make, all the videos I make, is just gonna fall on deaf ears because your mind isn't in the right place. And finally guys, before I forget, if you ever need any lessons from me in English language, in English literature, anything from me, do head over to everything education.co.uk. 
Right now we have an offer where you get 99% off your first month. It might help you. Do check it out. And that is that. Guys, our year begins now. Content, 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 guys, begins next week. Every week, Sunday, 7 o'clock. And that's my target until Christmas. And then after Christmas, I will be uploading twice a week. But do you see what I'm telling you to set targets is what I'm also doing myself. Anyway, guys, I hope you found the video beneficial and helpful. It's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.